Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have the O-Ray UHD-IPC230-KVM HDMI Extension Kit. This product allows you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second location up to 70 meters away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution over a single CAT6, CAT6A, or CAT7 cable. The product also features full keyboard support from the remote location that allows you to connect up a keyboard and mouse at that location and have those control signals sent back over that same LAN cable to the primary location where you can connect this to your computer to actually control the content you're watching. The product also provides audio extraction capabilities that allow you to inject audio on one end and receive it at the secondary end. The primary site also has local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here that you're simultaneously broadcasting to the remote location. Now, as part of this review, I always like to start with an unboxing of a product just to show you everything that's included, and then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment, and then I'll come back and point out a few things that really separate this HDMI extension kit from others you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, two power supplies that are 5 volt DC 2 amp power supplies, one for the transmitter, one for the receiver. There's a set of brackets for both of these modules where you can mount them up off the ground and out of the way. And also included is a USB-A to USB-A cable that allows you to connect the transmitter unit to your computer so you can actually control it from the remote location. And finally, a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other important details you'll need to understand about this product in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the product, and then I'll come back with some thoughts to keep in mind when you're comparing this to other HDMI extenders. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. I'll start with the transmitter module. You'll notice on the top of the module and on the side, there are heat fins that are designed into the cabinet, and those are there to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature during operation. You'll also find a set of mounting holes on either end, and these can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. On the one end of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a power port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that into a standard wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, and that plugs in right there, and that's all the power you'll need for the module. To the right of that are two full-sized HDMI ports labeled input and output. The input port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location. Standard HDMI cable from here to your DVD player, your game console, and that's your input. The output connects to a local monitor. This unit provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content that you're sending to the remote location here at the primary site by simply connecting an HDMI cable from here to a local monitor. To the right of that is a USB-A port, and that's used with the included cable to connect this module up to your computer. It's a single cable USB-A here to USB-A in your computer. On the other end, you'll find two LEDs on the left-hand side. These indicate that you have a keyboard and mouse plugged in at the remote site. So once you make the LAN connection between the two remote module and transmitter modules, and you connect the keyboard and mouse into the remote site, these will light up, letting you know you have a solid connection. To the right of that is a reset button. If you need to reset the module, hold that in for a couple of seconds. The unit will reboot and come back online. To the right of that is the LAN port, and that's the single connection you'll make between the transmitter module and the receiver module. That has to be a CAT6, CAT6A, or CAT7 cable. Plug one end in here, the other end into the receiver module. Finally, on the right, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to this module, it starts an internal power on self-test to check the electronics to make sure everything's working okay. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. Now we'll take a look at the receiver module. Again, on the left-hand side, you'll find a DC power port that's used with the second power supply. To the right of that is an SPDIF output port. This actually does audio extraction at the receiver end, which will strip the audio from the content being transmitted here and allow you to pass that along to a soundbar here locally for better quality audio. To the right of that is a full-sized HDMI port. That's the output port that connects to the monitor at your remote location where you'd like to enjoy the content. Again, a standard HDMI port there. To the right of that are two full-sized USB-A ports. These are connected to a keyboard and mouse, so you can actually transmit the control signals from the keyboard and mouse back to the transmitter side to control the computer that's connected back at the primary location. Again, on the sides, you'll find mounting holes, heat fins on the top and the sides. On the other end, again, you'll find two LEDs indicating keyboard and mouse have been plugged in, a reset button right there, 
This is the LAN port that connects the other end of the cable, so you'll plug the other end into the transmitter. This end you'll plug in right here. And then finally, a power indicator here. When power is applied here, it goes through the same power on self-test, where it's checking the electronics, checking the resolution of the monitor, and when it passes that test, it'll light the LED, letting you know it's ready to use. That's pretty much it for the two modules. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray HDMI extension kit with others you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the resolution that any HDMI extender kit can provide. This unit fully supports 4K ultra high definition resolution at 60 frames a second. Other HDMI extenders may only support 1080p content, or if they support 4K content, it may only be 30 frames a second. So the fact that this can support 4K content at 60 frames a second means you're going to get a crystal clear video and great audio at that remote location. Another interesting feature is its KVM functionality, which allows you to use a keyboard and a mouse at the remote location to remotely control the computer that's connected up on this end, which means you can actually surf the net or you can watch videos at the remote location while remotely controlling that computer. The local loopback functionality for the video is another nice feature that allows you to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So, thanks for watching this review. I hope you found it helpful, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.